Captain Ronaldo says the department and DA's office will investigate what brought the officers to the call, how they handled it, and what attempts at de-escalation were actually made. Neighbors outside City Hall today said incidents like this are exactly why police departments need to put more funding into mental health resources. Here's Two on Your Side's Liz Lewin. This morning, protesters gathered on the steps of City Hall to share a message, a message they intend for city leaders to hear loud and clear. Enough is enough. They're calling for Buffalo police to now reallocate funds and focus on mental health. What's happening right now is ridiculous. I am sick and tired of the violence being perpetuated against my family because it's not just my community, it's my family. Right. We cannot have city officials that are okay with what's going on. Just because they look like us does not mean they're for sure. us. And we need people that are for us and that are gonna hold people accountable here in the city of Buffalo. This is video taken by an eyewitness. Buffalo police say yesterday afternoon a man was shot by an officer on Genesee near Ellicott Street while responding to a mental health call. The Buffalo News has since identified the man as 60-year-old Willie Henley, who is now in stable condition. BPD says Henley became agitated while walking up Genesee Street. Officers, including a member of the crisis intervention team, tried to talk him down when he swung a bat and hit a female officer. Another officer shot him in the stomach after they say he tried to swing again. They shot this man after they pursued him for a mile down the street. It's as if they chased him from downtown to the hood to shoot him where he belonged to be shot at. Protesters walked with signs calling to defund the police and end gun violence. Others held flags waving Black Lives Matter. We have all these conflicts and police investigating police. We have city officials who are quote unquote scared to step on other people's toes. We need people that are going to hold people accountable. In Buffalo, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.